Welcome back to Bespoke Addict. Um, I've been going through some of the shoes I'm I'm going to sell, and as you see, there's quite a there's quite a lot. These are all shoes I'm prepared to sell. Um, the ones behind us here, I'm, I'm, I want to keep these. Um, they're all they all fit me lovely. They're all bespoke, and I want to keep them. But there's some very special pieces in here, and um, there are a couple more pairs of boots. These are. These are Henry Maxwell, absolutely stunning. Um, they're a bit dusty, I will polish them up. These are Peel & Co. Um, what else we got? Belluti, absolutely fantastic. Barely worn, just in fantastic condition. Another identical pair of Belluti. Um, they're supposed to be navy blue, I've put just taken the polish off and not, not repolished them. But once again, they're barely worn. Um, crocodile skin, shark skin. These are Foster and Son, um, made by Edward Green for Foster and Son. Um, Alan McCafe, alligator skin, might be Cordovan, more alligator. I can't remember who made these. Um, Harry Hart, quite nice, you know, once again. Um, and a pair of button boots from... I've stripped the polish off one. I was going to sort of, you know, just repolish them, but I only got halfway through it. They're really quite small. Probably best for the East Asian market, I would imagine. They're quite small, very narrow, about a size 10, from about 1910. I think that's buffalo skin, um, English made from Northampton. What else have we got here? Um, Foster and Son, more Foster and Son. These are just polished to look like Foster and Son. These are Edward Green. Absolutely fantastic, not really worn. These are truly, these will be the pair that will most people will be interested in. This is the 1786 Russian reindeer skin. Um, they they will be quite expensive. They won't they won't go cheap. These are John Lobb, Peel and Co. Uh, John Lobb, John Lobb, John Lobb. Um, yeah, these are all John Lobb. Um, Gaziolo and Girling, Gaziolo and Girling, more Gaziolo and Girling. Uh, bespoke George Cleverly. Um, these are, what is this? Is that iguana? Yeah, that's iguana skin. About 1960s. Um, I think they're Alan McCafe. Um, what else have we got? George Cleverly, George Cleverly, George Cleverly. I forget what they are, but they're crocodile. These are churches from the 60s, American from the 1920s. I can't remember what these are. These are... Oh, they are Northampton. Ch Joseph Cheney. Um, Loke, Grenson, can't remember. Um, Patrick Cox, Paul Smith, Foster and Son. Pierre Corday. Um pair of velvet slippers the sizes vary i'm going to be cleaning everything polishing everything and making separate you know, sec separate videos I'll try and probably put these on a website let me just pause the camera and i'm going to go to another floor i've just walked up to another floor in the house because as you can see there's rather too many to get in one room um these will all be sold um these are Loke suede, quite dirty looking, but they're actually lovely. I'll clean them, I'll shampoo them. I forget, are they Peel & Co? No, Paulson Scone, I think. These are amazing things, uh, winkle pickers, and they're relatively modern. They were made, they're Italian made. They were, uh, not, let me think now, Dolce & Gabbana. They did have little brass plaques, just, just here, you can see where the nails are, but they fell off. Um, Alan McCafe, uh, gosh, do you know, I can't remember. There's just so many, so many. Um, these are Wildsmith, they're Wildsmith. American lizard skins, Alan Edmonds, I think. These are Edward Green, and um, they're black suede. Quite amazing. Edward Green for Wildsmith. These 1920s, possibly 1930, um, iguana skin and suede. More Wildsmith. These are Joseph Cheney, they've got a fiddle back waist. Lovely sort of fiddle back. Um, they're fabulous. Pulse and scone, but they're tiny. About 6.5 to 7 UK. So once again, possibly an East Asian sort of sizing. Very few people um, in the US and in, 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 the, in, in, in Europe are that size these days. Because they are pretty old. People did have smaller feet in those days. Um, they're American, 1940s. Uh, that's Teju Lizard. 
Um, I think they're Wildsmith. These are 1950s. Uh, they're American. I can't remember. The same make. I can't remember who made them. I do know. It's on the tip of my tongue. can't remember. Um, these are absolutely sensational. Uh, 1920s. Um, Edwin Clapp. More Edwin Clapp. They're ever so dusty. Uh, you know, forgive forgive the dust. I've, you can see why I've got this many shoes. Ducker and Son. More Edwin Clapp in bad condition. They are... Those two look very much the same. They're obviously they are the same styling by the same maker, just different colours. Um, Foster and Son. That's I think that's King Cobra skin, and that's Kangaroo skin. John Lobb, um, I, a Northampton maker. I can't remember. Um, Foster and Son. Paul Smith. The, you know it. Oh, I'm, I'm crawling about here. These are strange, but definitely somebody will like these. Not for me, but. Uh, here we go. They've barely been worn. Um, most unusual styling, but uh, Didio Big Area, I believe. And if I can reach them, which I'm struggling, let me just get. There's a real a pair of 1920s or 30s. I can't remember what they are. They're pretty tatty, but they fit bizarrely. They're in their original box, but gives you a sense. Um, you know. Just so much, so much. I'll probably, I, I love that bag, but it's huge and it's a, a video on its own. That's completely full of solid silver implements and I don't really want to sell it, but it's big and I don't use it. I do have a couple more bags, um, another another case in bad condition, another case. Um, what are these? Stacey Adams. These are amazing things. They're, they're, they're like um, 1950s football boots, but they're not. They're actually quite new. They're modern. They're just made to look like a football boot. They have like little rubber studs, that, but obviously they're not long. Um, each and every one of these will, will get sort of listed properly. And I haven't, I've just literally just moved everything. They just pulled everything out and excuse the dust. I don't normally, you know, this is a storage room. And um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit embarrassed about Firstly, the amount, it's ridiculous, but they're not, they just need cleaning. They're not ready to go. None of these are ready to go. They all need cleaning, polishing, sanitising, etc. I won't sort of let anything go in dust or condition. But as you can see, there's some lovely stuff and I'll be keeping, you know, my favourite pieces. But these are all pieces I'm prepared to part with. But I'm just not ready to sort of, you know, to sort of say, get them in the mail today. And I can't remember all the sizing and I'll have to go through each each and every one Rem remind myself of the sizing so um that's yeah most of these are either a little bit too big or a bit too small or for whatever reason i just don't wear them so it really is time to do the right thing and just jolly will have a clear out